Hello guys, this is Yusuf from Javan Projects. Today I am gonna make smart irrigation system and after watching this video, I hope you will be also able to make this project or you can order from our website, link in the description below. So now let's begin our project. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and I Let's move to our coding part. Open a browser and search for ThingSpeak. Click on the first link. Ok, we have to now create a login ID. Here, click on create one. Okay. Fill in the details like name, email ID and country. Okay, then click the continue button after completing it. Here it is asking to verify our email ID. Ok. So now let's jump to our mail mailbox to verify our email ID. Click on the verify email ID. After verifying, we have to click on continue button. Now it's asking to set a password. Create a strong password. Okay. Now we should create the channel. Name the channel. Now we have to create four fields here humidity, temperature, soil moisture, and motor runtime. After creating those fields, now let's fill up the description. Enter description as per your project click on save button now we are ready to go copy the channel id that's 173 ok now copy it paste it into our code here we go now copy the right api key Copy this, paste it in our code. Okay, now our code is ready. So now let's compile and upload it to our Node MCU. Select COM code and USB code as Node MCU 1.0. It might take a few minutes to compile and get uploaded into our code. Okay, it's now getting uploaded. Our node MCU will send payload every 15 seconds to the ThingSpeak server. This is to make sure ThingSpeak server doesn't get overcrowded. We have used Millis function to do this. It seems our code is now getting uploaded. It's done uploading. After that, open ThingSpeak. Private view. 
you can see here the channels are getting filled up in the humidity sensor this is our first entry now not not just let's refresh the page see what we got here you can see last entry less than a minute ago here temperature and humidity gets filled up i have left it for a few minutes now let's see the entry is showing less than a minute ago okay now all the fields are filled up like humidity temperature the soil moisture and the run time okay all are showing some values yes motor run time one means the motor is running and zero means it is not running here the temperature is showing an average of 21.21 22 degrees celsius the last entry we got in is like about 750 pm and currently it's 751 so our system is updated that's all in our coding part so about our smart irrigation system i hope you liked our video and learned something new from it like subscribe and hit that bell icon if you like such projects comment down below and tell me what you would like to watch next and also comment down which platform is best thinkspeak arduino iot cloud or the blink app over and out